Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Chalice of the Void. This card is in two sets. It was reprinted in Modern Masters. It's actually in a third set if you count Masterpiece series as its own set. It used to be $5, a long, not even that long ago. In 2014, it was $5. We are currently in 2017, so it's been about three years. The card's gone up from $5 to $71. Now, the, the question is, what attributes make a $5 card, which is just a decent card, into a $71 card? And if it was not reprinted in Modern Masters, this card would be easily over $100, no problem. The reprint probably put some more supply in, definitely put more supply. This is an old set. So let's take a look at what makes this card jump that high number one it's from an older set and older sets i would say rtr is the first block where you can still buy booster boxes for 80 dollars or under they overprinted rtr to oblivion and back innistrad is now considered an old set and you see cards from innistrad once in a while spike up in price but definitely anything during this time period is old Evening Tide is even older. So we go all the way back to Magic's history of, of modern, which is Aphrodisian and on. The closer you are to Aphrodisian for modern, the more likely you are to be able to spike in price because there's not that much supply. During that period, Magic grew exponentially, and I would expect that they started printing like hotcakes. RTR is one of these sets that I look at, and you can still get boxes and from RTR on, you can go to any major website and get a box for $100 of pretty much any product. Averson Restored is, the, in my opinion, the last product that really has the potential to spike in price. That was before the player grow. I mean, players were always growing exponentially, but they really grew during RTR where they hyped it to oblivion and back. So it is a set. It is an old set. It's an artifact that can play, be played in multiple decks. That's super important here. And something like Hanger Backwalker, something like the Ballista, those are interesting cards in the fact that if they do find a home, they will find a home in every single deck. Lastly, played in multiple formats. Played in Modern, played in Legacy, played in Vintage. And there you go. You have a very high demand for the card across multiple formats and you have a rather low supply it was reprinted but it was reprinted in modern masters not 2015 modern, modern masters i don't know what they were doing there but after they reprinted the cards actually went up in price i remember tamagoy went up in price after the reprint and it was like uh i guess if you open one tamagoy if you're like oh well i'll just try to get a place out of them and then the demand is actually much higher because all those people opening one or two Tamagors are now trying to get play sets of them. Overall, Chalice of the Void, you look at those attributes, is an old card? Yes. Is the supply let low? Yes, even though there was technical air reprint. Is the card used in multiple decks? Absolutely. It is an artifact, so it can be placed in as many decks as possible. That's typically why I don't like two color cards because two color cards are more limiting in my opinion. And lastly, is this a card being played in multiple eternal formats? Standard, you know, we can talk about standard speculations, but they just, the time that you need to pick them up and the time you need to sell them, you have a very small window. So this particular card, I'm gonna go ahead and say, meets all the criteria for a very valuable card. One day it was $5, three years ago it was $5, today it's $71 plus. There you go. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you have any other questions or you disagree with my opinion, do you agree with my opinion? Leave me a comment below. Bye guys.